Ladies and gentlemen, in this lecture we will talk about the key parts of an electric vehicle and their function. We will then look into how all they operate together to create one of the most advanced vehicles on the planet. In this figure you can see the key parts of an electric car. First we have a charging port with the connector and cable. We have the high voltage traction battery and the low voltage auxiliary battery. We have an electric motor and a transmission system which are used for propulsion. And finally, there are several power electronic converters that are used for battery charging, for driving the motors and for regenerative braking. The schematic shows how the different components are connected to each other in the electric car. To explain what is inside an electric car, let us follow the power flow direction and take a look at an electric car by identifying the key components. The first part we look at it is the charging port with charging connector and cable. The charging port together with the connector and cable allows the electric car to connect to an external power supply in order to charge the traction battery pack. The charging port is often referred to as a vehicle inlet. If the car is charged with power from the conventional electricity grid, it requires an onboard charger which is a power electronic converter. A power electronic converter is made of high power semiconductor devices which act as a high speed switches. Different switching states after the input voltage and current through the use of capacitive and inductive elements. The result is an output voltage and current which has a different magnitude and waveform compared to the input. The onboard charger converts the incoming alternating current or AC power supplied via the charge port to direct current or DC power for charging tra the traction battery. The onboard charger is like a phone charger but can handle much higher voltages and powers. Next is high voltage traction battery which is the heart of any electric vehicle. Generally the battery is located at the bottom of the car but this can vary depending on the manufacturer. The role of the battery is to store energy for the propulsion of the vehicle. The battery has a battery management system that monitors and regulates the battery charging characteristics such as voltage, current, temperature and state of charge. The energy content of a battery is normally expressed in kilowatt hours. Nowadays electric cars have battery sizes in the range of 10 to 100 kilowatt hours. Let us now look at the battery technologies that have been uh, applied to electric cars. First is the lead acid battery. The prospects for the use of the lead acid batteries in the electric vehicles are limited due to the low energy densities, sensitivity to temperature and life cycle. Next is the nickel metal hybrid batteries. They have been extensively used for traction purposes and are optimized for high energy content. Finally, and the most popular are lithium based batteries. Lithium batteries are classified by the type of active material into lithium ion liquid electrolytes and lithium ion polymer electrolyte batteries. The lithium ion batteries is generally preferred for electric vehicle applications mainly driven by its high energy density. The table shows how a 20 kilowatt hours lithium ion battery has a much lower weight than its competitors. When we drive the electric car the power flows from the battery to the motor and to the vehicle accessories like light and audio system. To regulate the power between these devices, it is necessary to use a power electronic converter. In an electric car, a DC to DC converter steps up the DC voltage of the traction battery pack to a higher DC voltage needed for the, to run the motor. A secondary DC to DC converter, not shown in the diagram, is used to step down the voltage of the traction battery pack to charge the lower voltage auxiliary battery. The next component is the motor drive. The motor drive controls the speed, torque and rotational direction of the motor. Depending on the motor, the motor drive is a DC or to AC inverter or a DC to DC converter that is used to control the power flow between the battery and the motor. Unlike the power converters we have seen earlier, the motor drive is a bidirectional converter capable of delivering power to the motor for propulsion but to remove it out of the motor for regenerative braking. We will now look at the electric motor which together with the batteries are the two vital parts of an electric vehicle. 
The electric motor is responsible for converting electrical energy to mechanical energy for driving the wheels via the transmission. Normally, a single gear transmission with differential is used as opposed to variable gears found in combustion engine vehicles. This is why electric cars are automatic gear cars by default. This is due to the unique nature of electric motor to deliver close to full torque at all speeds. Further, the same electric motor can be used both as a motor and as a generator during driving and regenerative braking respectively. Four types of electric machines have been used in both plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and battery electric vehicles to date, namely brushed DC motor, induction motor, permanent magnet motor and switch reluctance motor. It can generally be concluded that induction motors and permanent magnet motors are the most popular when considering various parameters such as control, efficiency, power density, reliability and cost. Finally, the last two key parts of an electric car are the auxiliary battery and power electronic controller. The auxiliary battery provides electricity to start the car before the traction battery is engaged and also powers the vehicle accessories. The auxiliary battery is usually 12 volt for current vehicles but may be increased to 48 volt for future vehicles. On the other hand, the power electronic controller directly controls the different power converters and hence indirectly the operation of the battery, motors and the vehicle. It uses the driver, accelerator and brake pedals to control the power flow and select the operating mode between the driving and regenerative braking. It controls the onboard charger and the battery charging together with the battery management system. Now that we know the different parts of electric vehicle, let's uh, have a look at how does the electric vehicle based on the electrical power flow. This figure shows the typical electrical layout of the components in an electric car as seen earlier. Let us analyze it step by step. The power is delivered from the AC grid to charge the battery via the onboard AC to DC rectifier and DC to DC battery converter. When the car is in driving mode, the power provided by the battery goes into the, through the battery of DC DC converter to the high voltage DC bus. Then the DC to AC inverter of the motor drive sends the power to the motor. The motor then converts the electrical energy to mechanical energy and it is sent to the wheels via the transmission. Further, a DC to DC unidirectional converter steps down the voltage from the high voltage DC bus to, a, to charge the auxiliary battery which is in turn powers the electric vehicle accessories. To wrap up, the traction battery, the electric motor and the power electronics play a key role in the operation of an electric vehicle. Since power is exchanged between these components electrically using cables, it provides great flexibility in the design of the car. This flexibility is not possible with cars with a mechanical drivetrain due to large size and weight of the mechanical components. 